up friends, my name's Timmy Joe, this is Quick Tech, and I make videos about computers on the internet. Quick Tech's all about delivering you fast-paced tech, all up in your brain holes. So, today on the program, another CPU cooler review, and I get a lot of requests for stuff like this. Actually, Scythe probably emailed me ten times before I accepted this review request, and uh, I just happened to start looking at their products, and uh, you know, after the, whatever, fifth or seventh email, and uh, I was like, actually, wow, these are some pretty decent looking coolers with some big, you know, heat pipes, a lot of stuff going on. This is their Fuma series, and I installed it on this test system here to give her a little test. And uh, what really rocked me about this is the price, the price of these things, really freaking good for the quality and the, it's like kind of shiny metal. If you look in here, looks fairly decent it comes with 220 mil bands with a splitter has support for all the latest chipsets including amd's uh ryzen which is you know something that maybe they didn't couldn't say a little while ago now it's it's all supported and i have it hooked up on here on an older core i5 3570k and it's at five gigahertz five gigahertz you don't believe me do you well check this out boom Look at that. I'm going to run it again. Cinebench. Kaboop. Run it. Starts, well, I have the case closed. I, I ran the other one with the case uh, closed. This one's now open, so it'll have a little bit of an advantage. But I wanted to put this all stuff in a system and see if this giant tower cooler can actually get the job done. And like th this is a 3570K at 5 gigahertz is kind of like outside of the realm of regular. And I had it running at that 5 gigahertz before on like a really good AIO. Now the temperatures here, you know, they get up there. We're, we're up there near 93 degrees, but it's doing it. It's, you know, it's, it's not gonna throttle either. It'll get near 700 point score, which is a really good score for, uh, you know, a really aging platform at this point, even though it's kind of all the same. I5, 2500, 30, 570, 40, 570, you know, 70, what, like four cores, four threads. They're all pretty much the same. A little bit of a die shrink on some of them. But yeah, 692. And we see the st stuck temperatures at five gigahertz, mind you, which like, you know, it goes down, but the voltage is, is cranked to get this. It's like 1.48. 1, 1 it'll, it'll still handle it. It's a pretty good little uh, little cooler. I'm actually really impressed. And it doesn't look half bad at all. It looks like a Noctua or like a, a Be Quiet cooler, as we'll see. In just a second here, wa-boof, wa-boof. It's not a bad little deal. So we got the Fuma and, you know, they have a bunch of other, uh, you know, coolers and stuff. But if I can get my mouse where I want to see it, there we go. Uh, it comes with 220 mil fans. Now, the Noctua version of this has 140 mil fans. But uh, the Be Quiet version of this still has 120 mil fans. You know, big tower, double tower cooler with a spot in the middle for a fan, six heat pipes. It's actually keeping up with those guys, in my opinion, which is surprising. So they have a whole range of different uh, coolers. I might look at another one at some point, like a little bit less um, big and involved of one. Uh, but, you know, this isn't for everybody, the big dual uh, tower cooler in there. But what's really awesome about this is, well... Have you guessed? The price. Boof! This thing is $45.95. It's under 50 bucks. It's like maybe, you know, $20 more than a Cooler Master Evo, 212 Evo. And it's much better than that. Cause it's got more heat pipes. It's got more surface area. And it's got two giant fin arrays. It, you know, it's, 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 it's gonna be a better cooler than that. So what does that cost from Noctua? Well, Oh, sorry, be quiet. 88, so it's about half the price of a similar cooler, probably within margin of error for the amount of heat it can dissipate. Well, like, you know, be, be quiet's a really good brand and you know, the, it's not loud. You know, if the fans were loud, I'd, I'd tell you, you know, I got loud there for a second, but it's in turbo mode so we can keep this five gigahertz going. And then if you want to go Noctua, you're looking at, 89.95 so around the same price so you're getting like a really stellar cooler for the price I, and i don't get excited very often for videos like this because they don't get views but this one is totally worth your time it's, it's seriously i can't believe how cheap it is 
for the amount of cooling performance that comes from it. And it installs like any other one of these, uh, you know, you see me installing it on this uh, computer. It's not hard. You screw in a back plate, screw in a couple of included uh, thumb screws, and then you screw in some brackets and screw the thing in. Line the, uh, you know, just like you would with the Noctua, line up the fans and away you go. Comes with a splitter so you can put both of the fans on one header. And it's, it's ready to go. So I want to say, Scythe, you make your damn good cooler and the price is where you're killing it. So there's Amazon affiliate links below. Uh, you know, it's priced on Amazon. It's like 40, what, $45? 45, dollars $46. And you can have, you know, Dark Brock Pro Base Be Quiet or whatever, or knock to an NHD 15-ish performance of heat dissipation for your overclocked CPU. And even in a case like this, that's, you know, got a couple fans in the front, one fan in the back, they're all uh, hooked up with Molex and the you know fans in here are doing the you know the most of the work and it's kind of constricting because this you know it's got that 90 degree angle where the it, you know pulls the air in in the front it was still maintaining a five gigahertz overclock probably not an all-the-time thing i'd probably more likely bring this down to like 4.7 4.8 for daily use but it, it can do it it's not bad so i'm at watch timmy joe instagram and twitter you can check out the fuma by scythe revision b uh, on an Amazon link below, if you're interested, and I would seriously recommend it. Like I don't, I get products in like this, you know. I, sometimes it's hard to justify the review because they're too expensive or maybe don't perform quite as well. This is cheap; it performs very well, and I, you know, I have to give my hats off to them. They did a really good job with this, and I'm sorry I ignored their emails for so long. We'll see another one on the channel later on for sure. So I'll see you guys in another video. There is a Patreon; you can donate to the channel, helps bring me, you know, some cool hardware into the channel so we can look at some stuff. There's also Timmy Joe T-shirts, which I'm still waiting for for my for mine, but I'm sure they're going to be delicious. And there's the Quit looking at my dual GPU solution shirt, which is always fun. But this has been Quick Tech, and I want to thank you guys very much for coming along for this ride. 5 gigahertz on a Core i5-3570K, uh, you know, getting 700 in Cinebench with a $40 air cooler, $45 air cooler, 46 if you want to be precise. Man, I'll, I'll dig that all day long in a $50 case with and the included fans, too, to boot. Not bad at all. Good job, Puma. Boo! Timmy Joe, he makes videos about computers on the internet. You betcha.